Have you ever heard the expression, you have your head in the clouds? Well, at this exhibit at the Science Museum, you can try exactly that. I mean, this is really beautiful. This stuff is just hypnotic, but is it really the same as the clouds in the sky? I've got with me David, who works here at the Science Museum. What's happening here, David? Well, this exhibit is called Flowing Mist. So it's creating all these kind of swirls of mist that we see in the air. And what's actually happening inside it is that it's cooling the air down. And when it cools the air down, all these kind of millions of droplets of water form. And we get this nice kind of mist that's coming over the top here. Now, it's a bit like when you walk outside on a really cold day and you see all the mist in front of you, or when you breathe out on a winter's day as well. Um, all you're seeing is water droplets in the air, and that's what this machine does as well. Is this the same as the cloud in the sky, though? Well, clouds form in the same way. And in fact, all the water droplets in the clouds, sometimes they get so cold that they freeze. And eventually, they all start kind of clinging together. And either the water droplets or those ice crystals that form turn into rain or snow. So if the water droplets clump together, that's when they get big enough to form raindrops? That's right, yeah, and then we get our nice sort of horrible weather that we sometimes get in the UK. But you know what? We can actually look at the shape of the cloud and we can tell what sort of weather we might be expecting. It's not just scientists that are fascinated by clouds. There's a long history of artists and poets also making work inspired by the weather. There's even a poet called William Wordsworth who wrote a poem that begins, I wandered lonely as a cloud. Maybe you could write a poem inspired by clouds or draw a picture of the sky, maybe even do a dance inspired by clouds. I often look into the clouds and think, what's going on in there? What's passing through them? What lives in them? Maybe nothing, but maybe something. Okay.